Hey everyone, it's Jason Taze from Made in the Lab. Today I want to talk a little bit about pages, WordPress pages, canvases, and canvas views in Show Up 5. Now this is something when I first started using Show Up 5, it was a little tricky to get my head around. But I want to make it really simple for you guys because it's not that difficult. So first of all, when we look at our design space as we open up Show Up 5, we have two tabs over here on the left hand side. These two tabs are the ones we're going to be focusing on in this video. First of all, when we click on the site tab, we see we have pages, so we can add a page here. And we also have add blog template. So this is where you can add WordPress pages to your site. Now right now I have granola loaded up and this is a one page design. So I only have one page for granola at the moment but I have two pages for my WordPress list. I have the granola post list. This page hosts all the different posts uh, that you might see at first. So if you're looking at multiple posts, this is the design for that. If you were looking at just a single post, this single post page covers that. So this is what a single post would look like. Now it's very important to realize that these pages are different than the WordPress pages, but it's really easy to copy your design over. In fact, if you don't have your WordPress pages built yet, you can copy your Show Up 5 page design straight over by clicking on these three blue buttons. Click on those and just copy straight to WordPress. If you decide you don't need it on the WordPress list, you can always delete it. The next thing I want to talk about is canvases. So canvases are every major block of your website. So in this area, if I click on page in the top left hand corner, you can see the list of canvases that I have for the granola site. Now canvases can be really big and you can see as I hover over them, they outline in blue or they can be quite small like this one way up at the top of this site. So this navigation canvas is actually only one pixel tall, but I can create the elements underneath and have them float over the canvases below. Now canvases have a unique feature called stacking order, which allows you to select similar to the way that layers are selected, allows you to select which canvases show up over the ones below. So right now, since I have this canvas navigation selected, you can see that the stacking order is three. That means it's three steps up or it's gonna show over what I can set three different layers of canvases below it. Now this home canvas, I have one lower at two because I want the navigation to, to show up over the top of it. But then the following canvas is stacking order zero, which means that it's at the bottom and it will let everything float over top of it. By default, if you left all of your canvases at zero, this canvas below would actually show up over the canvas above it. So it's a little bit backwards to the current way that layers are stacked. The bottom canvases overlap the canvases above them with elements. All right, so with canvases, there's a bunch of different options inside of them. We can have different types of canvases, so going back to this home canvas, we could have a canvas that's fixed to a window height. So this will, this will stretch the canvas to the height of the, the window that the device is using. So if that's a computer, it might be different on a widescreen monitor than it would be on a laptop. So right now we've had this set to window height because it's a full screen image and that's the way that the, the, that the design was established. Now you can also have a sticky canvas, so a canvas that stays at the very top. And in fact, this is how our navigation canvas is set up. We have set it up as a normal canvas, doesn't need to be window height, and we have a top on scroll. So once we scroll down the site to get to this point, it's gonna stay to the top and scroll down with the page. If we wanted to keep this from the initial, we could just do set to top or we can even set one to the very bottom of the screen if we wanted to have a bottom style navigation. So those are the different types of canvases you can have. And in fact, when you jump
back over to the WordPress pages, you can also have a canvas, such as this post title canvas, that grows with content. Now this is the only case that you really want to use grow with content, because what happens is this canvas will grow, taller or shorter, based off of the content that's showing up. So if this blog title was two lines long, it would actually add more room to the canvas and space it out so that it could fit all of that title in there. This is great for the blogging and WordPress integration because it allows you to develop pages that very consistently scale with whatever content you have. So going back to the main site here, another thing I want to talk about with Canvas is, is the unique ability to have different Canvas views. One way that we've done this is in the gallery section. With this gallery section, we have three different canvas views. Now on the left hand side, you can see we have a canvas and it has actually three text boxes on that canvas. Now this works very similar to the way style groups worked in Show It Desktop. If, it, if a text box or element is just within the canvas itself, it's gonna show up on all of the canvas views. The canvas views, however, are very specific content. So in this first canvas view, we have a gallery and we have two arrow icons. In the second canvas view, we have a different gallery layout. And we've also assigned a different background color for this canvas view. You'll notice that the background of the first one is this dark blue and the background of the second one is a more gray color. To do that, you select your canvas, make sure that no items are selected in the design space and on the right hand side you can set a canvas background for the main canvas or for individual views you can set a canvas view background itself. So this way you can switch between a main background for all three canvases so this is where we would have that blue color or if you just wanted to change it up for one of them you could add a gray color to the canvas view background. Now at this point canvas views take priority in color over the canvas backgrounds. The, so that's important to know because if you set your canvas background at this dark blue and that's what you want but your canvas view is set to the gray it's going to show the gray first. You can have as many different canvas views as you want and it's a great way to utilize the same space that would be taken up um, instead of designing a longer site. So it makes a lot of sense for different style galleries. And in this case, you could have three of the same type of views just by duplicating the views themselves. That way you can duplicate the view and change out the images if you wanted. So that's canvases, canvas views, and pages in a nutshell. There's a lot more detail and depth into each one of those sections, but I hope this helps explain how they all work. In fact, a great way to think about it is to look at pages as the different pages of your site that host important content. For example, Granola is a one-page site design. We can deliver all the content we need for our visitors in this one page. And we can do that by having different blocks or sections called canvases on the page to host important content. This would be similar to how pages were set up in Show It Desktop. We can have a home canvas. We can have a canvas for an about page. We can have canvases that show off recent work or even new galleries. And when we want to reuse that canvas space, we can use canvas views. So instead of making the site longer with unnecessary repetitive canvases, we can use the same setup like style groups were used in Show It Desktop to make the design feel fluid and interactive in the same space. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video. If you guys have comments or questions that you might not understand how pages, canvases, and canvas views work, be sure to add them beneath this video.